the conservation of energy states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, only converted from one form to another. In first semester physics, this will be demonstrated with the conservation of mechanical energy between kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy. This is simplest to visualize by dropping an object and seeing it speed up. Alternatively, if an object is thrown in the upward direction, we observe it slowing down. In this case, we define the conservation of mechanical energy as in the absence of dissipative forces, the sum of kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy is constant. We can, of course, write this out in symbolic form. the total sum of the final energies is equal to the total sum of the initial energies. As a reminder about gravitational potential energy, its value will only depend on height. It does not matter at what angle the path was taken. Please review the video on potential energy for clarification. A common application for the conservation of mechanical energy is a roller coaster ride. We know from experience that as a roller coaster goes downhill, it speeds up. Here is a simple example. We are going to neglect dissipative forces. A roller coaster with a known initial speed is going downhill and we want to figure out its speed at the bottom of a hill. Start by reading the problem for relevant quantities, including speed and height, and taking note of what is being asked for. Because energy problems involve initial and final states, it is useful to draw the picture involving each of them. For energy, always ask, what is changing? In this case, there is a change in height and speed so the relevant quantities 
will be gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy. We include these in our declaration of the conservation of energy equation. For gravitational potential energy, we can set up a coordinate system with a reference height of zero such that the potential energy at the bottom of the hill is zero. We can expand the terms now and simplify the equation before solving for the unknown. Note that the mass will not always cancel out. Plug in with units and of course reread the problem to make sure you have considered all relevant quantities and answered the question. Here is another example. We have a swinging pendulum with known length that is observed with known speed at the bottom of its swing. We want to know the angle to which it rises. We start by reading the problem, looking for key words and quantities. We take note of what is being asked for. We draw the picture for initial and final state of the system. Again, we recognize that height and speed are changing. Hence, we set up our equation for conservation of energy with kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy. We simplify plug in the expressions, further simplify, and solve for the unknown. We plug in with numbers and check that we have the proper units. When rereading this problem, we recognize that the final height is not what is being asked for. Rather, we need to use this solution to calculate the angle of the swing.
please review the following slides to understand the geometrical derivation of the relationship between final height, radius, and the angle. In this video, we have only considered gravity as the acting conservative force. In future topics, keep in mind that other such forces may be involved, such as the elastic potential energy associated with the compression of springs.